Hey all, welcome back to another episode of Mastering Podcast and Video Interviews from Geek to Guru. I'm your host, Kurt Sasso, and we're diving into the art of handling challenging situations during your interviews. We'll be talking about techniques for staying professional and positive, and I'll be giving you the top five challenging podcast guests and how to deal with them. So stick around and let's get right into it. Techniques for staying professional and positive. Our first key point today, as you've guessed it, is all about staying professional and positive. In the world of podcasting and video interviews, these skills are your armor. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, let's explore some techniques to keep your composure and maintain a positive atmosphere, no matter who's sitting across from you. Maintaining composure. First up, maintaining composure. Imagine this, your guest goes off on an unexpected tangent. Instead of getting flustered, take a deep breath, smile and gently steer the conversation back on track your audience will appreciate your professionalism the unexpected tangent let's say you're interviewing a tech expert and suddenly they start discussing their favorite cooking recipes instead of panicking calmly say that's fascinating but let's get back to our discussion active listening active listening is your secret weapon pay attention to what your guest is saying even if it's not what you expected their insights might surprise you Speaking of insights, unexpected insights. Speaking of insights, your guest might be a renowned comic artist who might suddenly share their unique perspective on technology. Instead of dismissing it, listen closely as it could lead to a captivating conversation about the intersection of art and innovation. And it might spawn your own questions if you're interested in what the guest is saying as well too. Maybe you have a connection you didn't realize in your research. Empathetic communication. Empathetic communication goes a long way. Put yourself in your guest's shoes and try to understand their perspective. Empathizing with the personal story. If you understand your guest's perspective, then if your guest shares a personal story about it overcoming adversity, express empathy by sharing a relevant experience from your own life. Not only does it build rapport between you both, It also fosters a deeper connection that you didn't realize you may have. Five types of challenging podcast guests and how to deal with them. Now let's dive into the meat of today's discussion. The five types of challenging podcast guests and how to tackle them. Not literally, figuratively. You don't want to miss this. Type one, the no need to prepare ahead guest. Our first type, often the spontaneous guest, thinks they can wing it. But how do you manage when they go off script? handling this type of guest. Imagine you're interviewing a renowned actor who decides to share an impromptu monologue from their latest movie. Embrace the moment, appreciate their spontaneity, and gently guide them back to your planned questions. Here are tips for handling spontaneous guests. Listen to their previous appearances. Consider pre-interview or sharing questions beforehand. Find a way to edit your interview to steer it back on track. Type 2. One word answer guess. Next up, the guest who loves to keep it brief. How can you turn a one word response into a meaningful conversation? Sometimes it's just like pulling teeth, figuratively. Picture this. You ask your guests a question and they simply respond with a yes. Instead of moving on, say that's intriguing. Could you share more about your feelings regarding this question and what led you to this conclusion? Or instead of moving on, say that's, that's amazing. I experienced X, Y, and Z as well too. Maybe you can share more about your thoughts on this question and how you came to that conclusion. Tips for handling one word answer guests. Craft open-ended questions. Use follow-up phrases to encourage elaboration and stay curious and seek engaging stories from your guest by also providing your own if needed. The guest with bad audio. Ah, dreaded bad audio quality. While it's gotten better with technology over time, sometimes they're on a mobile device, other times their Wi-Fi isn't connecting correctly, sometimes they're in a hurricane or a typhoon. It's a nightmare for any interviewer. How can you salvage an interview with unclear audio? Let's say you're interviewing an author and their audio quality is filled with static. Sometimes in the green room, you may hear this and get them to fix their settings, but sometimes it may occur during the interview itself. 
take the time to pause the interview and pause the questions and suggest maybe making some adjustments to their technology. If you do this ahead of time, it may make things easier. It also depends on what platform you're using. Say you're using Zoom or you're using Audacity or you're using StreamYard as basic examples of some online streaming platforms. Google Meet for that matter as well too. Sometimes you can change your audio quality settings ahead of time as well for both yourself and your guest, but that depends on the platform. Because if they can't hear your guest or your questions, then they're not going to engage with their show. Tips for handling guests with bad audio. Recommend a quiet recording space. Suggest suitable technology or equipment like microphones. Conduct pre-interview sound checks. Guests with their own agenda. Now let's talk about the guest who wants to take the wheel and steer the conversation their way. How do you regain control? Imagine you're interviewing a very extroverted, outgoing person, like a business owner, and they suddenly shift the conversation to their latest product. Unless predefined when you schedule the interview, politely acknowledge their point and say, that's amazing, and we'll get back to that shortly. Let's explore this question here. Tips for handling guests with their own agenda. Learn redirection techniques. Embrace the power of editing. Share questions in advance to align expectations. The final type of person is the interrupting guest. This can be the same for the host as well too. Last but not least, the guest who just can't help but interrupt. This can happen with one or more people on the show as a guest. How do you keep the conversation flowing smoothly? Picture this scenario. You're interviewing one or two guests on the show and they frequently interrupt with excitement. While that can be amazing and engaging and it leads to other questions, you may have to acknowledge their enthusiasm and take a pause in the interview and say, I appreciate your enthusiasm. Let's make sure everyone's thoughts are heard and then go back to the person that was actually speaking. It's more about polite conversation than anything. Make sure that everyone gets their time and balance their time, as we've mentioned in previous episodes as well, too. You can also fix this in editing as well, but sometimes, depending on if the guest has already interrupted someone else, you may ask the guest that was speaking to repeat what they just said in order to get yourself a clean audio point as well. Tips for handling interrupting guests. Separate audio tracks are essential, but that depends on your platform that you're using and the software you're recording. A lot of times, if you're doing online streaming like Zoom or like StreamYard, Your guest track, while separate, will be together if you have more than one guest on the show. So it makes it rather difficult in the editing process. Keep that in mind. Finish your thoughts even if interrupted. You want your answers to be clear and your questions to be clear, and you want your guest answers to be clear as well. Address the interruptions in a kind manner if it becomes recurrent. And that wraps up today's episode on handling difficult interview situations as well as guests. Remember, these techniques and insights can turn any challenging interview into a golden opportunity for growth. Thanks for tuning in. If you've encountered any of these challenging guests or have any tips that I've missed in this episode, don't hesitate to drop a comment below and share your experiences. And of course, stay tuned for more episodes on mastering podcasts and video interviews. Until next time, see you on the next episode. Thanks for joining and until next time, keep those conversations flowing. Did you enjoy this video? Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and make sure to subscribe for more insightful content. And as always, stay tuned on Two Geeks Talking.